Hi, I'm Brooke. Hi, I'm Julie, and we are some of the sports physical therapists here at Children's Mercy. We are coming to you today to teach you some new core exercises that you can perform at home. So Brooke is gonna be our example today and I am going to walk you through the positioning and how to correctly perform these exercises. Okay, so all you need at home is just um, a mat or you can just simply be on the ground. Um, and Brooke, I'm gonna have you lay on your back. As we walk through these positions, um, the most important thing for us while we're in this laying down position is making sure that our back on both sides is flat against the ground as you are in this position. We're gonna be moving our arms and legs and while we move through those positions, it's best to make sure our abs are set, okay? And our back stays nice and flat. Okay, so the first exercise is we're going to have Brooke in this position and what she's going to do is carefully march one leg up at a time. And then the other side. Perfect. As Brooke brings her leg up, she's still making sure her back is nice and flat and then comes back down slowly and then switches to the other side. You can do this exercise for about 30 seconds um, and we typically say to do about three sets. Okay, so if that exercise is pretty easy for you and you feel like you can accomplish that without your back arching. What we do is we make it a little bit harder. So the second exercise, Brooke, I'm gonna have you bring both of your knees up. Good, I'm actually gonna bring here, here, good. And again, as you bring both legs up, what you may start to feel is your back start to arch off of the mat. So Brooke, for example, can you show kind of what we don't want? Good, so what we don't want is that position. So again, Keep your back flat, nice and set. And then at this point in time, we're going to, again, let one leg lower at a time. Go ahead and tap down with your right leg, keeping your left leg in the same position. Come back up and then switch sides. Good. It's important that the opposite leg stays still in the position as the other one lowers. Perfect, good job. Okay, and relax both legs. Good, so again, back stays nice and flat, 30 seconds, three sets for those as well. Okay, the next one that we're going to show is something called a dead bug. Um, you can use a ball at home if you have one, um, just a small ball or um, an exercise ball at home if you need some support with this exercise. If you don't have one, that's okay, you can still perform and we'll show you how to do both on this exercise. So, Brooke, I'm gonna have you put both hands up on the ball and both knees up on the ball. Perfect. Again, in that position, make sure your back is nice and flat, okay? And then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna add in some arm movements today. So, we're going to have your right leg go down and your left arm extend backwards at the same time. Good. And then switch. Good. One more time. Good, arm and leg are both extended, not touching the ground, just hovering above the ground. Good, and rest. So that's how you do it with the ball. We'll show you how you do it without the ball. It's the same movements, you just don't have the ball in the middle. Again, trying to let your right leg and the left leg opposite of one another, and then switching. As you extend both, make sure your back is flat, your abs are set, we're keeping your core tight. Okay, good, go ahead and rest for Very good. Okay, one of the most common exercises that we have kids um, already kind of know how to do and perform regularly in PE classes or their sports is a plank. So what we're gonna show you how to do is a plank, but kind of show you the corrections that we typically make in our clinic to make sure everyone is doing their plank correct. So Brooke, I'm gonna have you flip over onto your stomach. All right, 
So what you're going to do is make sure your elbows are underneath your shoulders in a 90 degree angle. Okay, you're gonna come up on your toes in this position. Okay, and keeping your back nice and flat, okay, should be in the same position from the top all the way down. A lot of the errors we see are if, if people drop their hips down and their back becomes lower, okay, we aren't using our core muscles in that position, or what the opposite is we have our hips raised and we're kind of in a V shape. What we wanna do is remember to be in this position. Good, go ahead and lower broke. For that exercise, we typically say, hold as long as you can in the position where your back is nice and straight. If you start to falter and let your hips fall or raise, then that's a good sign that you need to lower back down and reset. Very good, we have one more exercise and it's gonna be a standing exercise. So Brooke, I'm gonna have you stand up for me. All you need at home is a resistance band. Um, any type, you don't need to have a handle, it can just be the band itself. And what you can do is you can either attach it to the wall like we have here today, or just put it in a doorway, close the door, and it will stay um, tight against the door. So, Brooke, what I'm gonna have you do is have both hands on the handle, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take about three steps um, outwards so the band is pulling. Keeping your hands in the middle, of your waist and then as you get into that out position you're going to straighten both arms out in front of you very good what we don't want is that your arms start to pull in the direction of the band we want to keep them nice and straight in front of you good and come back in and then take three steps back For this exercise you can do about 10 reps or 10 times and three sets um, to try to in influence those core muscles to activate in a standing position. Very good, go ahead and stop. So these are five simple exercises you can start doing at home. Um, if your goal is to start strengthening your core muscles, um, your abs, and hopefully improve your balance and your strength. Thank you.